Hi, my name is Clovis. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and the face behind the video animations about channel-based acupuncture. Today I will talk about yin and yang in clinical practice and how does yin and yang evolve into channel selection, how does yin and yang evolve into point selection and channel relationships. So the video is going to start very simple and we'll go a little deeper. <laughs> so if you have any questions, uh, please comment below. It will be great to interact uh, with you and also learn from you uh, if you like uh, to practice uh, as a channel-based acupuncture. And if you like the video, of course, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions specific to uh, for future videos, please uh, write them below, send them to me and kind of is going to direct me to uh, what you want to learn about. Uh, uh, channel-based acupuncture and what is my experience about channel-based acupuncture. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoy. Without a doubt, yin and yang is one of the pillars in Chinese medical thinking. It is extremely simple, but yet very profound. Regardless of which acupuncture system it is used, as long as it is based on the classics, the practitioner will always try to identify patterns of imbalance according primarily to Yin and Yang. How does Yin and Yang influence our clinical decision on channel-based acupuncture? We can use imaging and mirroring techniques, needling the opposite or same side. We can use low source combinations with Yin and Yang channel pairs, the relationships according to six levels, and all the balancing methods. In many times, we can add it all together. As an example, Let's take a look at a general treatment to improve digestion. Just a side note, this is not a treatment protocol. Treatments are designed according to individual needs. Considering Yin and Yang to establish a circuit capable of strong qi movement. As an example, let's assume the primary unbalanced channel is, let's say, Yang Ming, and the secondary channel to balance the primary channel is Taiyin. We can select points on those channels with strong qi dynamics and relationship to each other. In this example, I selected the Hersi and Ink Spring points, and we can also add low source points. Do you think a treatment like this is able to move qi and be nourishing at the same time? Well, feel free to comment below, but wait there is more. The relationships does not end here. In this simple example we have channel pairs, Yang Ming and Tai Yin relationship according to six levels, five element relationships of earth and metal, five element relationship of mother and child, and a point selection with strong Qi dynamics. The foundation of all this? Yin and Yang. So that's it for today. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified on future videos. Thanks for watching. Channel-based acupuncture.